Okay, you guys, this took a year to happen. <laughs> but the good news is I finally got Kayla Mack to find five minutes for me, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, however long this is going to be. Um, but of course, we're all in quarantine and we're all on Zoom. So Kayla Mack, welcome. Hi, thank you for having me. <laughs> we tried to make this happen in Los Angeles last summer. It didn't happen, but we're here. Yes. So happy. Well, I have a lot of things to, to talk to you about. Um, I was thinking about you yesterday because they announced that the Radio City Christmas show is not happening this year. And you are a veteran, Clara. How many <laughs> years did you wind up doing it? I know you did at least two. Two. Yeah. Two, okay. Um, how does it make you feel? Because I'll tell you, I saw Eliana Walmsley last December. I, I flew to New York to go see her and it was such a special experience. I bet you understand how any of the future or the possible Claras for this year are probably feeling right now. Yeah, I mean, the show is absolutely magical. Like, not to sound cheesy, but it, it was honestly like such an amazing experience. And it's crazy to find out that they're not going to be performing. Um, but I just the energy was so amazing there. And um, I, I hope the Claras that like got casted for like this past will do it like next year hopefully like fingers crossed because that experience is like once in a lifetime it's 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 still a special place in my heart so well i think about this i always think um you don't want to grow too much honestly if, if you have to wait a year sometimes you're too tiny and you do want to grow but then if you're at that point because i know that everything's very specific with height especially because you do the uh, like the pirouettes and the yeah. uh the poetes with the bear yeah. Yep. Can't pick the bear. <laughs> exactly, yeah. Um, my year, I had my one of the Claras, Riley. Um, she was really tall, and so um, she was like, "Ooh, like I don't know if I can do it next year because I'm probably gonna sprout even more." But she was awesome. I miss all my Claras. So, <laughs> um, yeah. did you hope after you did it the first year, were you like, "Please let me do this one more year"? Yeah. It's like when it was done, I was like, "No," and I was like, "I'll go for it one more time. Let's see what happens." And then luckily I got the part again, which was awesome. So yeah. <laughs> Here's what I want to know. Cause I, I was talking with Eliana um, and we, I, she took me on a backstage tour. Uh, yeah. That stage is really tough. It's, I don't know if people realize it's steel. Yeah. And there, there's no give to it. It's, it is awful. Well, mm -hmm. it's, it's like a shin splint nightmare. Uh, uh, and obviously you have to hit your marks. Everything is very well choreographed and very well staged. How yeah. hard is it that first year? And like, what's great about the second year? Because you do know it. Yeah. Um, so the first year I like just got introduced to putting like rubber on our point shoes. So I was like, whoa, this is new. Um, and especially like choreography wise, it was a lot easier for me because second year I was like, I got more used to it. I got to like play around more, like not be as timid, um, but the rubber, like, definitely just helped me throughout my whole career, because um, the World of Dance, I wore rubber on my shoes, because it was plexiglass, so I got to, like, adapt to, you know, doing point work on different surfaces, I guess, yeah. <laughs> We, we had talked to um, Emma of Styles and Emma, and she talked a little bit about that, like the rubber on um, the point shoe. But for people who don't understand, you're putting the point shoe on the box, on the toe right there. Um, how does that change the grip? And like, is it easy to turn? Is it hard to turn for people that don't know? Yeah, um, the it, it was hard to get used to at first because it's like an extra little layer on your like, uh, the ball of your foot and then on the box. Mm -hmm. So it was a little hard to get used to, but after it felt like nothing, um, especially after all the rehearsal, it kind of like wear down mm -hmm. to where it like mold with your feet. So it was, it was all good. I love I that. Love yeah. And, and that's the crazy thing. And I, I've talked a lot about this with the world of dance contestants over the years. It's that stage is so hard on for, for ballet dancers. It's hard for contemporary because they're bare feet and it just rips it up. And I don't know if everyone knows, but if I'm correct, it's like every individual little LED square. So there's little gaps. Yes. Yes. It's a, it's a magical stage, but it's, it's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> what did you find the big challenges on the stage at World of Dance? Because I think for everyone, I know like just talking with different contestants, for some people that do a lot of tricks, it's like the spotting and where's center and where's the front. Oh, and yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, okay. So I, when in the beginning I get like really um not dizzy but like distracted because 
the LED stage, like, it's beautiful, it's usually, like, they kind of stare off, but, um, like, when I had to do, like, handstands and stuff, you're just looking, like, directly at that screen, and you're, like, oh, my god, <laughs> but once, like, rehearsals, like, kicked in, and you just kind of got used to it, but it's, like, warm, too, like, that's what I know, like, I was lying down once, and I was, like, oh, it's so hot, like, it, it was <laughs> burning, but, that's why it, bur it burns all the contemporary dancers' feet yeah. because they're dancing barefoot and so they have to tape them and they get burns everywhere. Like, yeah. They said the heat is tough because it's really sticky too. So did you use, this is the other thing, did you use J-Lo as your spot for center? <gasps> did I? I? I think once I used her like ponytail. That's like I was just like looking at the, or I look at like a corner of like the world of dance, like, or look at like the tip of the O or something like. I don't know. I, I think it was like either Jayla's ponytail or like a little bit above it. Just to keep that. Yeah, I don't know if I could look JLo in the eye like while I'm dancing. Oh <laughs> I was like, oh my God. Like, I was like, oh my God. It's <laughs> it stands out about your time, I think, on World of Dance because you know, you've, you've had over a year now to sort of reflect on the experience, which was incredible because you made it all the way to divisional finals. Um, and hey, like three cheers for ballet because we know how hard it is for ballet to make it to those later rounds. It's mm -hmm. sometimes I'm like, oh, come on. <laughs> they don't realize how hard this is. <laughs> yeah, no, this, I, when I watched the show, I definitely, it brought back really good memories. Um, I think the one moment that stood out for me Oh, that's my sister. Sorry. Hi. <laughs> With her volleyball. No, She's sorry. not the dancer in the family. <laughs> <laughs> she tried with me, and then she was like, nah, I don't really want to. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, but one of my most favorite memories was, I think, the audience. Um, it was my first time, like, qualifiers. I was running out, and I, like, took my, you know, position, and... I was looking at J-Lo and like Derek and Mia and I was like, oh my God, this is real. Um, but the audience just really like gave me a really big hug. Like it was, they're so supportive. And um, actually <laughs> some of them like during, I think the duels, I was like hyperventilating. Like I was so nervous. And this person was like in the background, she was like, breathe girl, breathe. And I was like, thank you. <laughs> Whoever you are, I love you. <laughs> right? like, thank you for that. I needed that. But yeah, they give you like little pep talks and stuff. It's it's great. They're, they I didn't give know that actually happened. I know. <laughs> they give out such a good vibe. I love them so much. <laughs> Which of the judges? Because I know every judge offers a different perspective and different advice. Is there any particular judge who like they would give you a comment and you go, yes, I know what to do with that for the next round? I think... I think Derek definitely helped me. Um, divisional finals when he um, was my mentor, I um, I was just like I don't really know how to like wow everyone because they've seen so much already. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to bring something new and different. So he gave me a really good tip to like for the menage that I did um, to like continue it and continue it. And I thought that was a really good idea. So thank you, Derek. <laughs> I, I love that though. Cause he, he has a really good eye for choreography, obviously two time Emmy winner. So take that advice and run with it. <laughs> <laughs> Who was choreographing your dances? Was it someone from West side or Westchester, Westchester dance Academy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so my first qualifier around Kelly Burke, um, choreographed it for me. And then my duels and Take Me to Church was mainly um, Grace Buckley, mm -hmm. who I, I love both my teachers so much. And um, the divisional round, they they both kind of helped me with that choreography. So, yeah. It's a collaborative effort. <laughs> yes, and the Nappy Tabs team is always incredible like so so good. so good yeah and we talk a lot about them we work with nappy tabs every week on the after show and yeah. amazing um the eye and it's not just napoleon and tabitha it's you know Britt cherry and yeah. uh, katie tate and everything but they really want to create a piece that looks great on camera too so i think yeah. all those adjustments like what how did they help when it came to your numbers definitely like musicality and 
I feel like they're more based on like hip hop kind of, right? So when they were critiquing ballet, I thought it was really cool that they added like the musicality of like a hip hop piece into my ballet, which was really awesome. So I like, me and my teachers, we were like, wow, like we never even noticed like how much musicality we could be putting into this dance. Um, and then when they were critiquing, we were like, yes, like absolutely. Like, so oh, I so love that. Gorgeous. Genius. And, and all like all styles now are such hybrids of each other. So it's good yeah. to be able to like pull that from here and, and probably as a choreographer, I, I love your entire family's visiting. I know. <laughs> My dog's dog name. Hi. He's like, hi. <laughs> it's I love special visitors. No, but I love for choreographers too. I think like it's a great um, opportunity to the judges give, you know, they all have opinions and they're not all right, but at the same time, they do give ideas behind the scenes. They give ideas that probably opens your eyes to, to new concepts for choreography. Absolutely, yeah, for sure. What do you think the show did in terms of your career? Like what lift did it give you and in the year since you've done the show? Honestly, it gave, it gave me a lot more confidence, um, but, it was so awesome, like, right after the show aired, I went to a convention, and the, these little girls came over, and they were like, are you Kayla? And I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> I was crying, and I was like, oh, my God, like, so sweet. Um, yeah, it's just given me a lot of more confidence and support. Um, it, it's given me everything, like, so many new opportunities and just a platform that I can use to um, just, you know, show my love for dance, which was really right. here so yeah it was really nice <laughs> I want to know is it hard to adjust like you you go and you do the show and then you have to wait a really long time um <laughs> and then it finally airs but is it hard to get back into that routine because when the show is on like the eyeballs are there and there's interviews and and social media and everything else and then you know the show ends and yeah. you know people are still there but they move on in a different way um how is it, is it hard to get back into the routine of like, okay, I gotta go to class, I gotta train, I just gotta keep on getting better, keep focusing? It's like an emotional roller coaster, it really is. Like, when, when I left, I was like, oh my god, I miss everyone so much, but then like, when you see the show, you're like, oh my god, I'm still there with them, and then, um, but yeah, like, your routine definitely changes, especially like, the time, the time difference. Mm -hmm. For me, I was, like, waking up, like, super early, <laughs> and, um, like, with school and stuff, it was a really big transition for me, because I, I go to public school, so. Oh, you uh, do. Do you do, like, a half day and get out, or do you do a, you do a full, day? full day? I love school. Like, I know that's weird to say, but, like, I, I, I genuinely love it, just because, I, I was like, I was a kid who loved school, so you don't have to, yeah. you're fine. It's not like, oh my god, I love math, but like, I just love like the interaction you get to have with like a teacher. Like, I feel like with homeschooling, especially like this virtual um, education right now, like we were, you know, learning online and it was hard because you not, you never really got to see their faces or anything. Mm -hmm. So um, I definitely, I love, I love like public school. It just gives a nice environment other That's than good. Are yeah. you guys going back for fall to school or is it a hybrid or virtual? Hybrid. I think we're gonna go do the hybrid thing where it's like half and half and then like it's like half days for everyone and then like you switch. I don't know but it's my senior year so I really hope that we're going to, you know, we're going to be going back. <laughs> so hard. You know, I spoke to a lot of dancers. I know talking with, um, I talked with the Mahasevich sisters from season one and Chloe Mahasevich. Yeah. Senior in high school this past year. And just, there's a lot of sadness and I totally get it of, you know, the prom and the graduation. They just were not the same. And then she was kind of in the mix for So You Think You Can Dance this year. And then that went away. It was like, she was always like, okay. I lost graduation and prom, but at least I have So You Think. Yeah. And then she didn't. So I just like, I, I weep for everyone. Cause I feel, I know I graduated a million years ago and I still think about like my senior year. It was fun. Yeah, absolutely. I want everyone to have that experience. I know fingers crossed. <laughs> Hopefully we can turn a corner at some point. Are you back in the dance studio? Are you able to dance at least? Yes, thank God. <laughs> I've been able to do a leap. It's been great. <laughs> my dad felt like a little 
um, dance studio downstairs, which I'm really grateful for. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> my family's been really supportive of this whole, you know, training at home situation, which is really great. So, yeah. <laughs> Did you like put up a bar and some mirrors or? Well, we, we, got a, we got a mirror and my dad took like a two by four and like put Marley on it. So oh, then I can amazing i love my family <laughs> <laughs> like progressions across the floor a little bit difficult but i imagine yeah. at least you can do like adagio and petite allegro and everything yeah. and bar yeah. Yeah. <laughs> i know you guys once you got back to the studio must have just been like let's just leap <laughs> like i was dizzy i was like oh my god like there's so much space right now <laughs> i don't know what to do with myself <laughs> Was your stamina different too? Because I mean, when you're training all the time, you're in this top level and then it just, we all had to adjust to, to virtual. It was crazy. Yeah. I mean, I was trying to keep up with like cardio as much as I can, just to like be like, you know, when I go back to the studio, it won't be as hard, but it, it was still pretty hard stamina wise. Um, but uh, I'm still trying to get back into it. <laughs> you look great. I'm not worried about you. Uh <laughs> Um, I have to ask, since it's your senior year, uh, what does the year after high school look like? Because this is a decision, um, you know, and some dancers go, do I go to college? Do I take time off? Do I audition? Do I try and go to a company? What are your hopes? So I'm still having the debate between company or college. Um, I am, I'm applying for college. Um, just especially during these times, I feel like college and like your education is so important because right now like dancers are unemployed and they need jobs. So I think like either minoring or majoring in something would really help. Um, if this ever happened again, like fingers crossed, but um, a business degree, like even if you majored in dance and like got a business minor, never going to fail you pandemic or no pandemic. Absolutely. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So that's like one of my mindsets and then um i or i'd want to go into like a ballet or contemporary ballet company so we'll okay see. <laughs> i have two questions of this okay are you looking at dance colleges or like conservatory kind of atmosphere okay can you tell me who you're like thinking about okay so my reach schools like my absolute dream schools are juilliard and usc kaufman so, I'm like, so happy to hear that <laughs> um, because I, I went to NYU Tisch. So um, I love the school. Juilliard's amazing. You, you're there at Lincoln Center. But I have to tell you what USC Kaufman has done. I've been a big cheerleader of them. Their program yeah. in terms of like, it's probably the greatest cross training and then cross training with like film and TV and dance on camera. Mm -hmm. Plus concert, you get all the concert side too. I don't know, but I'm just saying. <laughs> I know. Those great options, but we'd love to have you out here at USC. <laughs> <laughs> I know, what I other... you. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? And then it would be easy to interview you. Sure. Um, what, are you looking at NYU? Are you looking like at, I know Utah has a good school in Point Park. There's, there's a lot of really good ones. I recently just did the NYCDA scholarship audition, which I, I absolutely adore my CDA. They've done so much um, college-wise, and so has uh, Break the Floor. But um, yeah, so I just participated in the NYCDA scholarship audition. So I got some offers from colleges. So we'll, we'll see how that goes. Hold Good on. for you. Congratulations. That's exciting. <laughs> you. oh, I can't believe it. <laughs> if I were the college admissions director, I'd be like, that extension and legs alone in. <laughs> Who cares about her grades? Just bring her in. <laughs> like, I want to see those lines at the next dance concert. <laughs> My scoop, because I'm short. So, you know, I always like really appreciate people with gorgeous long lines. I'm envious, you know? So if I were a college admissions director, everyone would be like beautiful, like long arms, legs, toe point, tall. <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> That's what my school would look like. <laughs> the KV Dance College. <laughs> I would apply. I'll, I'll you, would, apply. you would be in. You'd be like, full ride, come on. <laughs> oh <my God>. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Which this whole idea is absurd that I would have a dance college, but I, I just went off on a tangent. Um, do you have, if, if you go the, <laughs> the ballet company route, um, I'm laughing at myself. Um, if you went the ballet company route, who are your dream companies? 
Dream Company's ABT, yes. Disco Ballet, um, Alonzo King lines, oh. or Complexions. All amazing. Oh, I know. I know. Yeah, I, I love ABT because we they have the West Coast residency now out here, so we, I get the opportunity to see a lot of dances. I, I got to see a Love and Rage that never made it to New York. We we they did the West they did the world premiere here in California, and mm -hmm. then it was supposed to go to New York and everything got shut down. So New York, you guys have an amazing show ahead of you. Um, but you know, Alonso and and San Francisco. You might wind up in San Francisco. Not bad. I just did their summer intensive, which was absolutely amazing. I just did their virtual summer intensive. So it was a I really love. cool experience. I loved all And they've got a new facility, San Francisco Ballet, that they're, I don't know if they're finished building, but they were working on it at least. Mm -hmm. Okay, and, and then Desmond Richardson and Joy Roden. Oh my God, yes. Oh, <laughs> so good. Yeah, so I have actually done some, com I've done like three or two complexions um, intensives. And, you know, I've got to learn from them, which is really awesome. So hopefully. I highly approve of all of these choices, no matter whether you go to college or whether you go to a company. I'm just letting you know. Check. <laughs> approve them all. <laughs> You've got good taste. I forgot your approval. Good. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but to, I, would, I would highly recommend not going to the KB College Dance. <laughs> <laughs> do it. <laughs> I don't know if there's a degree at the end of four years. So, <laughs> um, you, I know you're watching season four um, of World of Dance. Did you talk to any? Uh, like, did you did Style? Do you know Styles and Emma? Like, do do you guys like when? I wish I did. I'd love to talk to them, but I've never I've never gotten the chance to reach out. I always don't know if there's like a secret network of like, oh my gosh, let me call up Caleb Mack or just like, you know, send her a message just to see how her experience was just because, um, or, you know, or Avery Gay, like anything of those, like I'd be like sending emails and stuff going. Yeah. I mean, I did, um, I'm not, oh, I can't remember the name of their group, but Funkonometry like came up again. And so he sent me a snap. He sent me a Snapchat of um, him in California, mm -hmm. and I was like, "Oh my gosh, are you doing World of Dance again?" Like I was like, "What for?" And he was like, "Ah, uh, like nah, we're just here in California." And I was like, "Okay." Like, and, I was, <laughs> and then I saw them on the commercial, and I was like, "You liars!" <laughs> and he was like, "Sorry, Kay. I had to. I had to lie to you for a second, but." Um, so I got to connect with them a little, which was, I miss them so much. They were supposed to come to New York and they were going to stay with us, but they couldn't. I was so sad. Oh, but. that's such a bummer. I mean, it is, I do think that the ties you make backstage, all the people you meet, I think is really mm -hmm. incredible. I know everyone that's had that experience always says like, I love go, you know, doing the show. Yeah. And the behind the scenes stuff is what they love the most, honestly. It's like... <laughs> Right. Absolutely. I loved, oh, I just miss everyone. I need a reunion. <laughs> <laughs> is, there, is there anyone you're rooting for on uh, season four? Um, I watched Maddie Penny. Beautiful. Loved her. So good. <laughs> and I think she's coming up. I, I'm trying not to, she's in next week's semifinals. So I'm, I can't say like what happens to anyone, but, um, cause I've already seen the episode. So I'm like, oh, no one else has caught up. Be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, Maddie Penny and um, oh, Keegan Caps, I thought did a great job too. Beautiful. Oh my, I've seen her at competitions before. Stunning. Like and another one with beautiful lines. Yeah, exactly. I think um, she's out of Oklahoma. I think. Yeah. Some. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Um, Bailey and Keita, really good. They're insane. I, I actually, I met Bailey once um, in New Jersey at a World of Dance event. And I was like, oh my God, like I've seen her all on social media and I'm like, you're crazy. <laughs> like, you're I've crazy. known Keita since he was like 13 because he did So You Think You Can right. Dance. Oh and um, so yeah. it's just funny because he was little and now he's not, he's a lot taller than me, but he's yeah. so nice. Bailey's incredibly nice. I in, uh, in, interviewed her after she did S rank in season yeah. two. Yeah. Yeah. The baby of the group. Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh I'm trying to think who else. Um, yeah, who else? I'm like, I'm trying to think. MDC3 has been great. Jake and Chow. Like, there's a lot of really good. Oh, yes. Love them. Love them so much. <laughs> Next week's semifinals. I watch them. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. To me, like, last night's semifinals were really good. Next week is just 
fire. Like every act is just complete fire. Like I, everyone was fighting for those because it's only two spots. They already took two spots for this week. Two yeah, spots. For this week. So much different than last season. It's so crazy. different because everyone was competing against everyone. It wasn't just like world final and everyone competes. Right. Everyone in the semifinals competed against each other. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. Yeah, and six people down to two, and then six people down to two, and just mm-hmm. craziness. So mm-hmm. I'm so excited for everyone to watch next week's semifinals because I just felt like that one was so suspenseful. I was like, I, I, I knew the outcome, and I was like, I'm still, my stomach's in knots. I'm so <laughs> nervous. <laughs> no, listening to the guy saying, like, next up, it's, you know, kill him out, whatever. Joe, yeah. Um, yeah. Or yeah. Like, on the click, click, click. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, the clicks. Oh my god. Me and Aiden Akon, we um we FaceTime sometimes, like after we watch the show. And every time, just in the conversation, it always comes up. He's like, beep, beep, beep. And I'm like, <laughs> Your post-traumatic stress disorder. That's the one thing the show gives you. <laughs> it really is. It, it gets your heart beating. It really it does. certainly does. <laughs> Well, Kayla, this has been so much fun. I didn't know I was going to create a dance school while I was having an interview with you, but um, I love that you sort of like, of course, my, my ballet, I love ballet so much, so I always love to talk about it, but I love that you touched upon like Radio City and World of Dance, um, two really fun ways to sort of meet it all together, so... I'm going to keep my eyes on you because I'm really excited to see what happens in the next year. You'll have to keep us all posted. I will. I definitely will. <laughs> okay. That's a promise. And um, if people aren't already following you on social media, where can they find you? Oh, okay. Um, K- Kayla Mac 10. <laughs> so easy. You're okay. on, I, I know, are you on Twitter? I, yeah, I think sort I of. am. Yeah, yeah. Everyone's like sort of on Twitter. I'm You're so on- social media like I I gotta I gotta get with the I gotta get with the program I love Instagram's like my most fun though and I've been getting into TikTok so oh all right I'm looking forward to all those videos now (laughs) thank you so much this was so much fun oh I had so much fun